HTML forms. Forms are an integral part of web development and almost all websites will utilize forms whether it is to grab contact information whether it is to grab some data and do calculations on that data forms as we will learn is very important and we start by using the form tag and as always we need to close it now let's use label label is just a label let's say we want to grab the first name it's an ask our website visitor to provide their first name so label can be a queue for the user to place as in read and then get an understanding as to what they should put into the field input field input field is a type we need to specify the type let's say text it's a type of text we want to receive in this input field let's give it a name let's say first name we give the name so that when we receive the data we know what we receive and let's close that up yeah, before we do that we can use auto focus it's actually smart to do that in the first input field then let's just use HTML BR tag break line tag as you already know let's put another label and say last name for that close the label tag and let's also grab input type another text as their, the user's last name and say name last name so we can process that input field properly and let's continue let's use br and let's use a text area we can say calls equals let's say 75 and rows let's give five rows Text area is usually used for you know, comments, grabbing textual information. Then let's close the text area. And let's put another BR tag. And underneath that, let's put another input field. And this time, let's say it's a type of submit button. And value that will be seen in the front end can be anything you want then let's put another one type reset and we'll just explore what they mean in a second let's save changes and let's preview our web form and voila if someone visits they know they can put the first name into this field last name into this field and some text here perhaps or we can even do this save changes refresh yes, a comment here and so that people know what to do now let's say some people make a mistake they can always use reset now at this stage let's say put the first name last name some text in there and then I press the submit button let's do that now it seems like something has been submitted but it hasn't because we haven't um, given the cues as to when the submit button is clicked what should be done with that form and we can then use action in the form tag itself to point perhaps to a php form processor so that things are done dynamically that is the 99 percent of the use case scenario in that example we would require a php form processing script and give the path to that 
we can also have methods method can be as you can see get post delete put you can say actually get and post when we say get that means this form will actually get some data and if we say post that means this form data will be posted all the input fields to this processor so that processor can understand these fields and do something about it now, there are other form elements that we can use actually I'll show you some popular ones so that you're aware of which ones they are so let's do this let's go by BR, BR tag there and let's use select section select yeah, select is straightforward as well basically multiple choices for people to select and let's say option value is let's say male closed option let's put another option value female closed option Put another one unknown <laughs> I don't know, it's a silly but and here let's say select gender let's save changes let's review and that is our drop down menu for that select with options we can have many different options There's many different amount of option fields here okay well here let me also show you different usages for an input field of email I may say so if you want to grab visitors email address we can ask for it along these lines save changes refresh they can put their email address here we also have okay with auto focus what is that doing let's take a look and explore let's refresh the page now as you can see the cursor blinking in that first field that's because we've said to the browser to auto focus into that field it's actually smart cue to use that creates better usability we can also use further cues to guide the visitor to insert information placeholder attribute is great let's refresh to see what happens so if someone was to type their name that placeholder will disappear but it just creates better usability and let me show you one more element that you may come across and that is the field set you can utilize field set to group related information together and then you can use legends let's say personal details close the legend under there let's say name and give input field 
Bataille Tex. see we can include dates well here let me scroll down we can say number and so on right let's also say text to keep things simple name person day of birth as an example let's close that up let's save changes and let's preview that in our browser and that's our field set so we can group things together surely there is more two forms but what I've just shown you I believe is good enough for you to build upon and I'll talk with you in the next video session